Amen. We thank God for bringing us for this podcast. May God's name be praised. So it's a new week, Monday. We appreciate God. In the name of our God, be praised in Jesus' name. So since I woke up in the morning, I've not, I've not been doing anything like um, entertaining myself, or how do I put it? <laughs> I've not watched any movie that is on entertainment. So, I've been... Okay, let me tell you what I've been doing. I woke up after morning prayers. I did online morning prayers. Then after that, I started learning how to do my online course because God has given me the go-ahead. Even though I didn't know it's going to take this faster, but God did it. So I've been watching it. I've been like, God, I don't know how to do it. <laughs> you know, I'm watching a lot of things, but I've not gotten into that particular video that will really lead me into the actual one that God wants me to do. But I'm learning so much. I'm learning so much. And I know that very soon the hand of God will make it work in Jesus' name. So I have been doing that. And... Um, at the same time, I was trying to put something in my stomach because that is the that is where my sickness came from. It's because I was not eating, so I'm no longer fasting. <laughs> so I'm I'm now in the in the stage of always eating immediately I wake up. So we thank God for that. So and I saw that I was not tired. I was. Ah. So I'm not like, God, that means I can come for podcast too. So at the time, the Spirit of God just made me, gave me inspiration. Is it inspiration? I'll call it, call it motivation, enthusiasm, strength to come for podcast. So I really pray that I don't get tired because I don't know what's always making me tired anytime I come for podcast. I don't know. I was lying down watching videos. I was not tired. So I got to pray about it. Because we need to do as much as possible. And God is really faithful in all this um, podcast and everything that we are doing. He's really faithful because I noticed it's true that God is just using it to lead me into greater things. And that is um, one thing I learned from the video I was watching. You know, the man that was talking was talking about pastors that always put ad label on church members. We have discussed this too, if you remember. Bound us to the devil to get well, feed my sheep, you know. We have talked about it and we still have it in this series that we are in now. Because after this topic we have, this topic we have now is phone sex and abomination in the eyes of God. <laughs> I know a lot of people are going to be like, no, it's not a problem, it's normal. But today we will see that it's not it's not right in the eyes of God. So then we after that we have flee sexual immorality, and after that we have the true gospel. So in that true gospel again, we are going to talk about all these things about pastors and stuff like that. But it's like I'm talking too much. Maybe we should pray before I go into talking. Let's pray, Father Lord. We thank you for bringing us again for this podcast, Father Lord. I notice that I don't get tired anytime I'm doing something else. But this podcast, I don't know what is always making me drained, sick, anytime I come for it. And I know that you want me to do it. Father, please, envelope me with the blood of Jesus. Strengthen me. Cover me with the fire of the Holy Ghost. Protect me. Don't let me feel drained, please. Jesus, please wash me into blood. Fill me with the power of God. Fill me with the Spirit of God. You say you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit come upon you. Father, please fill me with this Holy Spirit that gives power of God in the name of Jesus. Father, give me power to move forward. Give me power to be able to do great things that you are leading me into doing. Father, lift me up in the name of Jesus. Father, the word of God is coming out again. It's going to, it's controversial. <laughs> I don't even know the meaning of that English, but... All, my own interpretation of that is like people will be like, no, it's not true. It's not right. Like a lot of people would think it's not right. But Lord, it is your word. You are the Lord that gave me this topic. Most of my topics, there are times I stay on the bed, topic will not, will not come. <laughs> so most times when I get topic like that, I know that it's actually from God. And one of the ways I've proven it is that 
if I close my eyes, sleep, wake up, that topic will still remain. Sometimes I'll think of maybe I have forgotten, maybe I can't remember. I'll see that I remember that. That definitely is the law that chose this topic. There was another day too, I was watching a lot of videos, videos, videos. And I was trying to pick, bring out a topic from that video. I did not see any topic until eventually God brought out a topic. So I know that this topic that you have given me, in fact, I wanted to change some of the words in some of this topic. But you said, no, that is the topic. Lord, it means it's from you. I don't know, maybe this is one of the reasons why I feel drained. Like I'm doing the work of, of the Spirit in physical body. So it's like, <laughs> it's a lot of work. Maybe that's why many times I feel drained. I don't know, maybe after doing one of these videos now, I will get so tired. Yesterday, by the time I finished one podcast, I was already sleep, sleep talking before I finished. To the point that immediately I got to the bed, I slept off. God, I don't know where this um, weakness is coming from. I don't know. Maybe it's, it's normal. But Lord, if in one way or the other it's abnormal, Father, please envelope me with your strength. Envelope me with your power. Don't let me feel drained anymore. I need more of your spirit. If it is uh, a spiritual work, like if it's actually going to channels, of God, channel that God wants you to go to. That is why I'm feeling this dream. Father, Lord, I need your power. I need your spirit. The disciples, they were able to preach to 3,000 people. I can imagine the spirit of God that went out into the heart of 3,000 people. It would have drained them, but the spirit of God was continually filling them more and more. So they, they were not getting tired. Please, I also need the spirit of God. Father, please, this word that I'm, this word that you are teaching me or that you are leading me to preach, they are things of God. They are things that people need to know. Please, God, help me. Jesus, please lead me. I have checked myself. I have seen that I don't have power of my own. Most of God, please have mercy. Father, please take control. Jesus, please take all the glory. Thank you, Jesus, for our prayers. Blessed be your mighty holy name. Father Lord, I also commit this uh, 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 online course because I must complete everything and it must be online by Saturday or Sunday latest because you gave me one week to fix it. Father Lord, please, I, have, I am ready. I am ready. Please enable me. Please strengthen me. Help me to do it, Lord. Father, come and have your way. Thank you, Jesus, for answer prayers. Father Lord, we want to hear your word again. We have not heard it before. Father, please. Or oh, how do I put it? Yeah, we want to hear your word again in another new dimension. We might have heard it before, but in another new dimension, you want to speak to us again. Father, please use me for your glory. Fill me with your Holy Spirit and refill me. Give me this physical strength I need and the spiritual strength too. That will not make me to be drained. Please help me. Please fill me with the Holy Spirit. Father, Lord, have your way. Let the word of God continue to run faster in my mouth. Please help me to continue to remain on the side of God so that the attack of darkness cannot reach me in the name of Jesus. Father, come and have your way. Take, take control, Lord. Father, the word is going now. Let you do what you are sending out to do. Let people become blessed and come to you, Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Yes. Thank God. Um, so the topic is phone sex and abomination in the eyes of God. <laughs> oh my God, some people will be like, ah, which, which kind of topic is that one? At least I'm not doing the real thing. <laughs> I'm here to shake another table. But let me say, the only people want to shake another table. You know, I told you that Many of these topics God gave me when I was watching some videos or seeing some headlines, seeing some topics on YouTube. In those days, where in those days where I was really weak to come for a podcast, you know, I was really online using some things to relax, like watching some things that would make me relax. And even while watching them and relaxing, God was giving me topics that, okay, this is a topic. This is a topic. So some of them, God said, you see the reason why you have to go and do podcasts. See, they are preaching. False, false messages. You have to go out there and let people know that these are false teachings. So God gave me this topic. The lady was talking about. I didn't even listen to it. 
I've I've cancelled the recommendations on my YouTube videos. I've told YouTube not to recommend her videos to me anymore. She was like phone sex with her husband when she's far away, Abby. You know? So somebody will want to think, ah, hey, husband to wife. They're already married. But did God even ask you to, to go and be preaching such things online? If you are a gospel minister, you see the reason why you have to you have to really, really be led by the Spirit of God before you go out and start preaching. Because if you are not led by the Spirit of God, you will preach rubbish. You will preach rubbish. And a lot of people will even be coming to your videos. Look at my videos and podcasts. And a lot of people are not coming. But at least I'm seeing progress. At least this morning, while I come for this podcast, I saw 301 on the, on the podcast that God has sent me to produce. Because it's not my power. Because if it's my power, I will not be feeling this drained. <laughs> I was lying down watching movie. I was not drained. But anytime I come for podcast, I see that a virtue is going out of me, which I'm praying to God that God should continue to refill me and refill me every time in the name of Jesus. You understand? You need to really be in the spirit of God before you go out there and start preaching. Or else you will preach wrong message to people. But God saw that a lot of people are getting... And she calls herself a Christian. She calls their channel a Christian channel. Where you preach, you know. Now they are trying to to modernize, a bit to Christianize worldliness. Like it's, it doesn't really matter. So far it's with your husband, you know. From there, somebody that is not even married, they are cutting. They will think it is right to do. Isn't it? From there, younger people that are not even married, I will be like, oh, she be you're my girlfriend, that are Christians. If it's not in the Christian dome, no problem. But somebody that is claiming I'm a child of God, I'm saved, and you are doing this, it's, it's completely wrong. It's completely sinful. It's an abomination. It's just like when you're saying gayism and lesbianism. Somebody will want to come and say, eh, I, I at least I'm not fornicating with fellow with uh, with opposite sex because it should be that one is the one that will lead to marriage uh, that will lead to pregnancy or want their pregnancy at least it's with uh, another person that is not that is not um, female like that is not man you understand you know some people will want to justify that until the Lord made us to see that place in the Bible. Gayism and lesbianism, that it is a real abomination before God. Same with this one, to phone sex and abomination in the eyes of God. You see? You see the big topic? The Lord did not even allow me to change any word in it. You understand? As long as it is, God said put it there like that. Before I used to try to change the word so that it would be like two, three words. Like it's not too long. This one, gagada, gagada, like that. God said put it there like that. You understand? So it's an abomination. Another person too, maybe two people, <laughs> maybe two people that are dating each other and planning to get married in the church. They will at least, we didn't fornicate through the uh, vagina. Let me call it the name that it's called. At least it's through anus. You know, these things are actually abomination. The Bible says, flee all appearances of evil. Flee all appearances of evil. Don't, don't, um joke with sin don't don't and uh, how do i put it pam passing like okay maybe uh, uh, at least if i just round about it like i just play with it like no they say that the person that we eat with the devil your spoon must be very long what if you don't even go near to hit with the devil by the time your spoon is very long what if the devil son still catch you what if the devil son is longer than your hand you know it's longer than your spoon. What I mean by the, the spoon must be very long is that um, it will not be able to, his hand will not be able to get you. What if as long as your spoon is, his, his hand still reach you? You understand? So you don't even go near at all. You don't even, you don't, the thing that will make you to have that sexual urge, you have to cancel it. That is another topic if, on, the, on this hour series. Is the number seven? It is the title is as a single, don't allow the thoughts of sex in your head. This one too is a big topic. God never even allow me to reduce the word. Just say put it like that. That's the topic. You understand? Many times I want to reduce the topic, but this ones, this two especially, because they were coming from that 
video that that lady was making. We were coming from her video. She was preaching fallacy. Things that will make Christian people, Christian brothers and sisters, start uh, living a sinful life and still claiming that they are Christian. You know, that's what the devil wants. He wants you to feel comfortable in your sin. That at least I'm not as bad as this person. If you remember that story of faith, the proverb, is it proverb? No, it's not proverb, parable. I'm sorry, it's the AC that is making noise here. The parable of those two people that went to the temple. One was saying, I don't, I don't, I don't collect food from, I don't collect things from people by force. I fast three times a week, maybe three times, I don't even know how many times he was saying. You know those things that he was doing. But the Bible said he went home condemned. But that one that was just there was like, God, have mercy on me, a sinner. The Bible says he went home justified. So what are we trying to say? The, 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 the trap of the devil or the aim of the devil is to make Christians feel comfortable in things that are sinful while they are still doing things that look like working for God. Are you getting these two things? It's looking like I'm... The English is strong, are we? <laughs> okay, I'll calm down. I'll calm down. I'll calm, I will calm down to a, a, break, a broken level. Let me put it this way. Like, there was a movie I watched while I was younger, very young, and I watched it recently again. It's called The We Are Chef. The man has been walking on the road of Christian. On the, since he got saved, the Lord gave him only Bible, I mean, ah, I can't remember the English of those things. So, but one white cloth like this on his neck, the Lord gave him. Then one white book, it's like a paper shell, like card. Pure white, there is no stain on it, there is nothing. That white thing on his neck too, it's also pure white, no stain. Many times, there were so many temptations to take him away from that road. You understand? A man came with money and then ties him. Follow me. Just leave this road and follow me. Let's go away from this road. And I'll give you all this money. Just like the temptation of Jesus. But he said no. <laughs> he remained on that road. Another time there was a woman that came saying, uh, trying to tempt, her, tempt him to, to sin with him and leave that path. He didn't, he didn't allow. He said, no, I'm not going to leave. He kept walking on that road. Until two people came with, with a colored, like colored, you know, when I mean colored, I mean another type of color that is not pure white. And so many decorations on it. Type of paper, that same cardboard on his hand, and that same a uh, collar on his neck, not collar like collar of clothes, but like like a napkin, something like that. You understand? But it's pure white for him. Then for those people, it's colored, and they say, "Oh, we are <laughs> the Christianity has changed. Oh, Christian life has changed nowadays. So it's no longer like how the old school used to take it. Like you, you must be this very very pure. You must be this very very holy. Those things that you take too seriously nowadays, Christian, we don't take it too seriously, and we are loving the Lord like that. We are Christians. We are on the road. We are moving to heaven. Hallelujah! You know those are the people that will be shouting, "Jesus, I love you, Lord." Go and look at their songs. They are preaching nothing. Those people in our life to in our real life today. And now I see the reason why I'm always feeling drained because I'm preaching the raw truth of the word of God and it's attacking a lot of people, the kingdom of darkness. So this is the reason why I feel it. So if I have to feel drained as many times as possible and come back again, I don't mind. But yes, the word of God I will preach by God's grace. Amen. God helping me and God giving me more strength. I will continue to pray for strength. So and I believe that God will be able to strength. God will always strengthen me. Amen. So you see them today. Can you just wave up your hands and let's worship the Lord and the Spirit and the truth? They are speaking language. They are so outspoken. They are so, they are, they are, their words are so beautiful you, that you almost feel like, God, let me come and learn how to speak like this. You understand? But look at the dressing. What are they, practice, what are they propagating? 
some of them that are propagating how to dress indecently, the men, even their hair, how to put wrong hair on your head and make it to look like you are still serving the Lord. They are calling the real service of God, they are calling it old school. Is it old school? No, it's not old school. It's just the devil's way of making you to think he's a new Christian. You will still be doing the things of God. You will still be working on the paths. You will still be, when they say, children of God, come to this side, you will still come out. But everything you are doing is completely worldly. Everything you are doing is completely opposite to the true gospel. You think, you think, you think the, 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 you think Christianity will change with time? It doesn't change. That's one thing on my YouTube on my YouTube uh, Tom, um, cover hat, I said, the true gospel of God that doesn't change with time, it will never change. By the time you listen to it 10 years ago, this year is still the same. That is the difference between the things of God and the things of the world. We have, we have learned it too. He said the world passes away with all his, all his things, but those that stay in the Lord last forever. You understand? So what am I trying to say there? I'm trying to say that the word of God is not supposed to change. It's not the standard of the gospel. It's not supposed to change. So people were talking about Mazayan ministries. And I, that's why I always watch their old movies more than the new movies. Because the new movies, now I don't understand what I'm watching there. The message cannot come. When, you're, when a part of you is not fully right with God, any message you want to preach, it should be totally wrong. Somebody was saying it. He said, if today is Monday, and it's very true that it's Monday, if the devil comes to tell you that today is Monday, he said it is lie. It is false. And it is true. Because this is how the devil tempts people. When he told, when he told um, uh, Eve, did God say you should not sit on the garden, or the tree of the garden? Of course, God did not say don't eat on the tree of the garden now. You understand? But he was he was trying to like talking to her about about what God said. You understand? If if your ministry, your ministration, there is a part of it that is questionable and it's not clear to people. You are leaving confusion in the heart of people. By the time you finish that ministration, I'm telling you they will not be blessed spiritually to come closer to God. It will take them far away from God. And you will think, oh, I've preached the word of God. Hallelujah. No, you didn't preach the word of God. That is where most of all these pastors are, are getting their inspiration to be duping pastors, duping their church members from. Because the people they go and listen to, they too, they are doing the same thing. So the same spirit enter inside them when they listen to those things. So that's why you have to be careful. Anytime you have... That, look at me now. I'm, I, I don't watch all, all Christian things online, no. Serious. You might call yourself most Christian Christian. Even music now, the only music I'm listening to now is music of Evangelist with Juade. And that music, there's no part of it that is that will leave your heart con that will leave your heart um sinful. I don't know how to put it. That will make you feel comfortable in your sin. Because it's from a man that is that is clean before God. So anything he says out of his mouth is pure. It's, it's doing the work of God. He doesn't care about all this fame, all this uh, inviting people and be dancing. You turn gospel into Afro beat. What do they call it? Tungba. You say you are singing gospel, you are singing Tungba just to hide people. They leave that place, they go to their house, they say, Oh, I went to a Christian gathering today. But did your spirit come closer to God after listening to it? No. Are you seeing it? So that is what God wants to tell us in this place. Flee sexual. No, he's not flee sexual. Full sex and abomination in the eyes of God. <laughs> so I started all this topic, 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 going forth and front and back and left. <laughs> I started it from the past where I said, the devil will want you to feel comfortable doing something that is abominable before God. But yet, he will still want to, to claim that you are a child of God. Because that thing you have done, is still like the devil wants you to we want to make you feel like you are still right before God, whereas you are you are completely far away. You understand? That's where I, I started all this explanation. Now I I know that 
we all understand what I was trying to say. So that's it. That's what the devil does. So when God showed me those podcasts, I mean, they are not even podcasts. Maybe they are podcasts too, but they were your YouTube videos. When God showed me, and uh, you have to go and speak against it because it's not right. A lot of people are going there, and and by the time they finish watching those videos, they think it's it's normal. Now today, God gave us the topic that full sex is an abomination in the eyes of God. What are you supposed to do? You are not even supposed to have that that spirit that wants you to even want to have sex outside your marriage. Now, this person that was talking was talking about her own husband. So, somebody will now come and think, ah, but what is the husband now? But now I want to tell you, if your husband is not with you, the real sex God planned is between husband and wife, right? And the real sex God plan is not the one true in us, right? <laughs> and another one, the real sex God plan is not true mouth. All these things are demonic. They are the things that demons do it's as if some people went into air fire they saw how they are misbehaving in the air fire then they now came to the world and started doing all these things i'm telling you you know one of the videos i watched yesterday the man was was talking about makeup he said that the, that the evil spirit should go to the church and make people put all this coloring coloring on us to look like demons ebora Ebola is uh, in spirits, evil spirits and demons. You understand? And I reason with it. Oh my God, that's true. Which means a lot of girls that you see looking like, oh, look at the makeup on her. They are looking like some particular kind of demons in the waters, in the spirit. That is how they actually look like. All these rings, nose rings in the nose, rings in the ears, everything like that. Uh, this fake hair. They too, that is what they are using. Those are the abominable things that is making God angry with them. So by the time you are putting these things on yourself too, you are also taking part in that kind of punishment. But it is now even worse. By the time you are still claiming you are a child of God, you are a Christian, you are going to the house of God, you are singing, you call yourself a gospel minister, you still minister, but under the influence of somebody that, of an evil spirit that God is angry with every day. Do you know that you are, you are, you are already missing it. So today God wants to let us know that there are some things you can be doing. You will be claiming you are still a child of God, but you are completely, completely, completely far away from God. One of this is this false sex. I don't really know how they do it, but with some of the videos I've watched, I think what they mean by that is that you, you, will, you will be messing yourself up by yourself while you are talking with somebody that you say you are in love with on the phone i think that is what they mean something like that because there was one of the confessions i watched the guy was like many of these leaked videos online is from girls that they asked them to give them money and they refused to give them money and they were doing phone sex with them you understand that they will, the boys will make them to film themselves while messing themselves up so are you seeing it now it is demonic. Just take it. There is there is no two ways to the word of God. The Bible says the soul that sinner shall die. There is no two ways to just go about it. He said that you, you take it like that or you leave it. So this one is, is there's no two ways about it. There's no way to, to Christianize it. There's no way to say, hey, but we are not we are married already now, but he's my husband already. Don't even go there. It's your husband, don't put his manhood in your mouth. It's demonic. It's from the pit of darkness. The only way God planned it is put it in the vagina of the woman. That's so. Any other one in the anus, in the mouth, is completely wrong. Please, don't try to sin against God and, and still remain, and still be calling yourself a child of God. It's not the will of God. Why are we trying to preach all these things? So that we can do the things of God. So that we can stay on the side of God. So that we can we can be we can stand out. That is what Jesus Christ said. He said, "Come here out of them and be separate, so that we can do the right things, not trying to make the worldliness and and join Christianity with it, and then you everybody gets confused. You don't know maybe it's world or maybe it's Christian, like some of these gospel gospel uh, movies nowadays. That's why I don't watch them. I prefer to watch the old one or when I see 
a minister that is still on the old standard. I watch his movie. But if I see you that you are trying to modernize or worldlyize your Christian movie, I don't watch it though, because I don't want anything to corrupt my mind. So that's what God is telling us today. God has really spoken to us a lot. So it is it is abomination in the eyes of God. It's from the pit of hell. And the devil is 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 trying to bring all these things into the Christendom so that Christians will still think I'm still right. Oh, I still fast three times in a day, in a week, just like that Pharisee and, and that was praying. You understand? The devil will still make you to know oh, at least I still go to church. At least I sang oh, see the number of people that were that were watching my movies. Oh, see the number of people that came to my no, you are far away. You are just an empty something that is just blowing around. You are not seen before God. God is not seeing you. And we don't want to be like that. So today God is teaching us. So we are going to end it now and pray. Then more of this that we will talk. We will talk about it in the other two topics I had by God's grace. So let's pray. Father Lord, we thank you for the word of God has gone out. You have told us emphatically there's no two ways about it there's no trying to adjust the world there's no trying to pamper it there's no trying to say but it's my husband there's no trying to say uh, maybe maybe not the answer is it is from the pit of hell and we should not do it please god help us help us not to be that kind of christian that is completely far away from god and we are still saying we are on the road just like that we are here please come and help us please bring us closer to yourself lead us teach us Father, please help us. We know the standard is very high, and that is how it is. All this uh, diluted type of Christianity is not the will of God. All this saying, um, we don't want Christians to run away. We don't want them to say we are condemning them. They are not the real thing. The real thing is stay on the side of God. You said that you stay with God or you are outside. There is no double standard. God, please come and help us. These are the reasons why you are sending out podcasts like this. Father, Lord, please come and continue to help me to refill me up with the Holy Spirit. Keep me on your side. Don't let me go away from you. Thank you for answer prayers. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Let the word of God has gone and let it do what I have said it out to do. Let it bring people to yourself. And keep me on your side too, oh Lord. Don't let me leave your side. Don't let this world stand against me. Please, Lord, when temptation will come that we won't to spoil these testimonies father please give me the grace to stand and say no in the name of jesus in jesus name we have prayed amen thank you god bless you bye